Remember, we've learned that bacteria cause acute attacks, and acute attacks make lymphedema worse. The severity of lymphedema can be grouped into seven stages, ranging from one, very mild, to seven, very severe. Learning the different stages of lymphedema will help you to recommend the correct treatment. To stage lymphedema, first pay attention to the appearance of the skin. Does it look smooth or is it bumpy and irregular? Second, notice any skin folds. These may be at the feet, ankles, or on the leg. They may be deep or shallow. With a shallow fold, you can see the bottom of the fold when the patient moves the foot or ankle. In contrast, you can't see the bottom of a deep fold unless you open it with your hand. Finally, ask the patient a few questions about her or his daily activities. Does the swelling go away during the night so that the leg looks normal in the morning? Does he or she have frequent acute attacks? Can she or he do daily activities such as walking, eating, or going to the bathroom without help? Stage one is the first stage of lymphedema. The leg and skin look normal. Patients may say they have swelling late in the day, but it goes away by morning. This happens because they've been lying down overnight allowing the fluid to drain from their leg. You should see these patients in the morning and again in the afternoon to notice any change in swelling. If the patient's swelling does not go away overnight, the lymphedema is stage two or higher. In stage two, the skin of the leg looks normal, but entry lesions may be seen between the toes. Patients with stage 1 and 2 lymphedema should wash their legs at least once a day, preferably before bedtime. They need to follow the exercise plan described earlier and treat any entry lesions. Patients with stage 2 should also elevate their legs every night and during the day whenever possible. Patients with stage 3 lymphedema have shallow folds. You can see the bottom of the fold when the patient moves the foot or ankle. In stage three, the skin looks smooth. These patients may have entry lesions and a bad odor between their toes. They may have acute attacks from time to time. When a patient reaches stage four lymphedema, the skin has knobs or raised bumps. These can be small or large, just a few or many, and can be on the legs or feet. Patients with stage three and four lymphedema should faithfully follow the steps for hygiene, skin care, exercise, and elevation. In stage five, the swelling increases, causing deeper folds. A stage five patient may have more frequent acute attacks because entry lesions occur frequently inside the deep folds. The lesions may be so small you can't see them. When examining some patients, you may notice patches of wart-like bumps on the toes or foot. These look like moss. They're a sign of stage six lymphedema. Stage six patients should follow the same treatment as those with stage five but they need to wash and dry the wart-like bumps very well. Because these bumps dry slowly, patients might want to use a fan. These patients should wash at least once a day, use a disinfectant and medicated cream, exercise whenever possible, and elevate their legs day and night. Daily activities might be difficult these patients might need help with hygiene and exercise. In the last stage of lymphedema, known as stage seven, the patient's leg is very large. The leg has deep folds and may have knobs or moss-like bumps. 
the leg has many entry lesions and a bad odor. These patients will frequently suffer from acute attacks. Patients with stage 7 lymphedema can't walk very well or take care of themselves. They're often bedridden and in some cases may need preventive antibiotic shots to stop acute attacks. They need help from the healthcare system or their families. You will need to train their families to help them wash, exercise, and elevate their legs. They need to wash their legs at least twice a day at the beginning of treatment. Their helpers should put antifungal and antibacterial cream between the toes and in the deep folds. These patients should exercise as often as possible and elevate their legs day and night. Generally, stages 5 through 7 are known as elephantiasis. If the leg has signs of several stages, classify it according to the highest stage and stage each leg separately. Patients can have different stages of lymphedema in each leg. Finally, you should not try to stage lymphedema during an acute attack when the leg is more swollen. Wait until after the attack. You will become more familiar with the stages as you practice them. As your patients improve, the bad odor will disappear, their acute attacks will stop or occur less often, and their ability to do daily activities such as work and attend social functions will improve.